I'm here to talk to you about what a cloth nappy is and to introduce you to it if you've never seen one before. The TV adverts are full of disposable nappies uh, on show, your friends, people in the streets and the park are changing their babies and they're using disposable nappies. So if you've not seen a cloth nappy before, it may seem really difficult and complicated because you've simply not been exposed to it. But I'm hoping that by the end of this video, you'll see how simple they are and how easy it is to use cloth nappies. So I'm going to be talking to you uh, about an all-in-one Velcro nappy. And I'm choosing this one because it is the closest to a disposable nappy that you've probably seen before. There are many types of cloth nappies, but let's just start nice and easy so you can be gently introduced to them. They look very much like a disposable nappy. They come with Velcro. And inside, they're nice and soft. Inside, they have a tongue right at the back, which builds the absorbency, but it hides it inside. So when you open a cloth nappy, this is what it looks like inside. Very much like a disposable nappy, but much softer. So what you need is a liner, and that will help um, wick the moisture away and not allow the moisture to come back. So you can use any uh, cut up uh, fleece blanket that you may have at home in rectangles and use on top of your cloth nappies. Because it doesn't have the gel um, to absorb all that fluid in a disposable nappy, in order to keep baby nice and dry, you will likely need a disposable, uh, sorry, a fleece liner. So you pop it on, when baby pees, it will go right through it and absorb in the core of the nappy, but the moisture will not come back and it will leave baby's bum feeling nice and dry. It will also help when the baby poos. So we simply lift it and you flick any poo down the toilet. If you are a little bit scared of poo, you can also use disposable liners. So it follows a similar concept, but only that you're not reusing. So you can either use in conjunction with your fleece liner, or you can simply leave the liner, um, the fleece liner away and just use your disposable one. So the same concept, it allows the moisture to go through but not to come back, leaving baby's bum dry. But when baby poos, then you can simply lift it and dispose of it. Read the manufacturer's instructions on how to dispose of them. So once you have the liner on, that's you ready to use in your baby. So let's get our baby and put it on so you can see how simple they, simple they really are to use. Okay, so here I have my baby and my baby is ready to uh, be changed. So you will take the previous nappy off. You can use a cloth wipe that you can just wet with water. You will clean baby and you can reuse the many sides of the cloth wipe. You generally only really need one, two for a very messy poop, but they're very, very effective. That's your baby nice and clean. You will use a wet bag which will contain all the um, soiled and wet material in until wash day and you will pop the nappy onto your baby you're going to tuck it into the leg creases and you will get the velcro tab one and two and you will double check the fit. It's nice and snug. All material is tucked in. And that's your baby with a cloth nappy. It really isn't that difficult. And once your baby's nappy is ready to be changed again, all you do is you take them off. This baby has a poo, as I said. Flick this down to the toilet, put it back in. 
and then you place it inside your weight bag until washed out.